Hello and welcome to Raven Galaxy Presents Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to fly without any green screen. And this is what it should look like at the end. By the way, don't subscribe to my channel because he's a tryhard and he tries to copy Kev Jama and Nikki Hika. Okay. And there's no sound effects. And you way. can tell it's mainly. Yeah, okay. So just drag your footage into a new con, which is this. And then, like, you need a shot where your actor jumps, and you need your, um, a background shot where it's just still, and you also need your camera to be steady the whole time. So, control D your, um, layer twice. That's what you're preparing. Or just go up to, um, yeah, just click on the layer, go up to edit, and, um, duplicate. But yeah, yeah, there. Anyway, um, I click on the last layer, and then find the shot where it's just the background, and then right click on it, and then do time, and then freeze frame. So now it will just look like a still image. So now find the um part where your actor just is about to fly. So, that's it. So, click on the first layer, and then, um, alt, um, bracket to cut it, but it's not the bracket over the 9, it's the bracket near the P. That, yeah, the one with the weird shape, like, the Very rectangle. Tight. Yeah, the rectangle. Anyway, do that for alt and left bracket. Select the, um, bottom layer, I mean, second layer, and then do alt and then right bracket, but, the same type of bracket, not the one over the zeros. So now it'll just look normal except it's split up. So, right, go to the first frame of your footage, I mean your split layer, and then get the pen tool. Wait. And zoom in first. With the. Yeah, and then press G. For the pen tool. Yeah, and then just roughly cut around the person. And it does not need to be here. Just roughly cut it. Why? Stop looking at me. Okay, so it's just really roughly cut. Yeah. So, select your first layer and go back to the first frame. And then press P for position and set a keyframe. Now press page down um, to move down a few frames, like about five or something. Oh wait, I forgot to freeze frame. Okay, wait, just click on your first layer, go to the first frame, and right click on it, and then click time, and then freeze frame. So now move down five, about five frames, and then use your mouse. So just move it on um, the person up. So now it just looks really bad because it's really roughly cut. But yeah. Um now turn on motion blur and then turn on for the composition. So it will look like this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so it's pretty blurry right now. But if it's not blurry enough, if it's not blurry enough, just um go to blur and sharpen the spark blur, and then make it vertical. I mean, yeah, vertical, and then just turn the blurriness off. But that's only if, yeah, that that's just stupid. So. Yeah. Just like Subscribe and visit our website. They're both in the description below. And it's like what the, the subscribe button is over this video. Which <laughs> and don't subscribe to my channel because he's a try hard. Okay. Bye bye.